It's the start of a new month and millions of Americans are behind on their rent and they could soon be evicted. John Lawrence explains. The United States is hurtling toward a housing crisis. We can't work, we can't pay. More than 11 million people are currently late on their rent payments and soon they could be out of their homes. Not only do I expect to see mass evictions across the country and filings, I also expect to see all of those cases that are currently on hold immediately move forward and widespread eviction in all of those cities and states where tenants were being protected from the federal moratorium. Democratic lawmakers failed to get enough votes to extend the ban on evictions for non-payment of rent, which the CDC imposed last September. The moratorium expired Saturday. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi says state and local governments should use the emergency rental assistance program to help residents. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin says he agrees. First of all, the money's already there, as you right. said. Why didn't it go out the door? I can't tell you I that. Don't know. But to put blame on anybody right now, let's fix that and make sure that we're able to use the money for the purpose it was appropriated for. In the meantime, under pressure landlords are getting ready to file eviction papers in local court. I've had one apartment director who has told me that uh, he manages multiple units in different complexes. He's told me he's bringing in just him alone over 300. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Coming up in sports, Carson Wentz is back in headlines today. Devin Fry is up next to fill you in on why.